Hello there, a very, very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum, and this time round we're looking at Popeye, published by DK Tronics in 1985. It's a game where you control, well, Popeye, funnily enough. A uh, game also came out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore uh, 64, based on the cartoon originally created by EC Sega in 1929. That was quite a way away ago. So this game, uh, you control over large sprites, a bit similar to the trapdoor, I suppose, which isn't surprising, because it was written by the same guy called Don Breedsley. So here's Popeye. He has to collect hearts for his girlfriend, Olive Oil. As I say, some of the largest sprites you'll ever see, but do have a look at the review of the trapdoor as well. Now, you must collect the hearts over 25 uh, levels, I think, or 25 hearts you need, and get them back home. There's Olive Oil there. What a cracking dame she is. Did have a sequel to this, Popeye 2 and Wrestle Crazy. And here comes Bluto. You must avoid him or you'll get flattened. And there's a crazy bird as well that will come down every now and again. Here it comes, crazy bird, and that's knocked us down for six. You can see in the uh, right there, um, things that we collect. There's some spinach there to do our strength. And that looks a bit unusual. So you can go up and down, left and right. And uh, it, yeah, I've, it got great reviews at the time, this, and a lot of people liked it. I find it a little bit clunky and unresponsive so far. Maybe it will actually grow on me. Uh, if I don't do very well on the first or second go, I will put a cheaty for infinite lives, and Bluto's not be down again. I don't know. Is that it already? I don't know how we'd avoid him. That's it already, so goes on this might be particularly quick. Hmm. He's Popeye the Sailor Man. He lives in a garbage can. He's strong to the finish. Somehow we'll make that word rhyme with spinach. It's Popeye the Sailor Man. Boop, boop. Yes. I did like Popeye the cartoon. You don't see it around much, day, much these days. I think it's because he smokes a pipe and that's frowned upon. Uh, you can collect keys every now and again by um, going into buildings. Uh, I think the yellow key opens the yellow door and you can work out the rest for yourself. There's hearts up there. I think we can maybe jump up and get those. Come on, Popeye. Jump up there. I'm not sure if Sweepy's in this. Oh, man. The controls of this... This this game's annoying me a little bit. Um, the controls are a bit unresponsive. You can tell the because the strikes are so huge in this, which is which is wonderful. Uh, it's it's really making the computer struggle, and I find the controls a bit slow, a bit clunky. We get that heart there, and, not, and when you need to get out of the way of Bluto uh, at quick speed, it makes it very very tough to do. Yeah, and I've been floored again. Oh man, and that spinach coming down that looks very dodgy. That graphic you could misread that a million times over. If you had this one back in the day, let me know. As I say, it was very, very, very popular. I think as a kid already, I don't think I would have come back to it that much. Do have a look at uh, Trapdoor, also written by Don Priestley. Uh, and there, the graphics are sparser, and I think the um, because of that, it runs a bit better. And we've died again, right? We're putting a cheat for um, we're putting a cheat for Infinite Lives. See if I get any further on this one. But uh, yeah, DK Tronics in 1985. This. I don't think I would have gone back to it a lot of times based on this uh, opening gameplay because you die quite quickly if you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, we'll go, on, we'll go on joystick this time. I was on keys before. Maybe that'd be more responsive. I don't know. I don't know what the relevance of that bird is. Some mad colours in this. A little bit of colour clash as that goes across. I do like the large sprites from the screenshots. It looked pretty good. But it's just that the computer's memory just doesn't be able to take it to make it into a, a, a decent speed of game. Popeye, of course, see, when he has his spinach, he gets superpowers. That tricked me as a kid because the spinach was awful. It contains a lot of iron, but uh, it doesn't give you superhuman strength. Right, one heart. Let's see if we can at least do a bit of this with infinite lives. There's 25 hearts to get. Bring them back to olive oil, and um, yeah. I think he needs a new girlfriend, this bloke. So up, down, left and right, uh, and that's pretty much it, really. And blue toes hit me. Look, see, look at this, right? As soon as I get up, it's going to knock me down again, I presume. Oh, man. If you had this back in... See, look at that. This is frustrating me to hell. If you had this one back in the day, let me know. Uh, I want to like it. I want to go with the crowd and say it's great, but I'm not liking it at all. Um, it's the playability for it for me, really. I mean, graphically, you can't fault, fault it in terms of the, the size of the sprites, what it's doing. Um, the colours are mental. But, uh, you know, at least it's fun in that respect. It's just, it's just, It's just too darn slow. Maybe Popeye should have been a bit smaller, perhaps, but, you know, they they went a unique way, and hats off uh, for that. But Trapdoor, through the Trapdoor for me, 
trapdoors slightly better than through the trapdoors as, as a game but uh, worth tracking down so do you want to track this one down well for retro purposes maybe if you're a big Popeye fan are there any out there there's some hearts there do so but I wouldn't I wouldn't spend a great deal of your time on the thing yeah I, but I, I might be in the minority here I think most people would have would have loved this but uh, I'm not one of them let me know do you not like it or do you, do you think it's great um, I know I like seeing different opinions I think this could split the room this one you see my health bar or how many hearts I oh, what's that you see my hearts uh, have I collected on the right there this ropes going up what's this rope attached to oh it's some sort of tower is that a key there I can collect see that's not obvious how do I collect that key there's a dragon down there I don't want to mess with him hmm. a map would be useful so you know I think um these reviews always reflected what your first or second go would have been so I'm probably not going to see all the screens or indeed get the uh, the most out of it uh, the animations of that is brilliant uh, I can't fault that so that's another good bit about it whoops oh didn't dive right yeah so if you had a few goes on this explored the map got a bit, bit more use to the controls and the timings you would have got a lot more out of it a few people would have once you go over that I think a few people would have completed it uh, me it's, it's, it's just frustrating me too much too slow Press go up, down. He's too slow. It, it, the thing is, where it gets more frustrating, I open that door, is when um, you're trying to outwit Bluto, and he's not responding quick enough. And also, the controls aren't precise. See, I want to go left or right. It's not. It's not letting me. It's not obvious what I need to do there. Oh, that. There's some. There's some good enemies on this though. I don't know what the hell that thing is. You. You can see them being dropped into uh, the the trap door. That other game, if you're familiar with the uh, well, the claymation uh, animation thing as well. Can I pick that up? Got two hearts, two hearts living in just that's Phil Collins in it. Just one world, something, something. Yeah, diddly did, diddly did, diddly did, diddly diddly diddly. Popeye the Sailor Man. That song got sung in the playgrounds a lot. I seem to remember all the wrong lyrics. He lived in a garbage can. That was one of them, and a caravan, and an ice cream van as well. Hmm. He was a sailor. I don't know. I don't know if he lost his eye, did he? He's winking at me a lot. I don't know why. Maybe it's, maybe it's a nervous twitch. Doesn't look too much like Popeye. It, oh, on side on it looks like Popeye, but so when he goes full on, it doesn't. There was a Popeye film, uh, which didn't really take off. It was a bit of a flop, really. I can't remember quite when that was. I don't think I can take this game much longer, folks. Yeah. As I said before, if you completed this, then let me know. If or if you're a sailor man, then let me know. I was walking down the docks once and uh, I tried to get recruited into the Navy. There was these people, uh, they said, they said, Nick, we need you, we need you, we need you as a new recruit. Then they started to sing this song about the benefits of the Navy and all the things you can do. Uh, in the Navy, you can sail the seven seas. And I said to them, look, there's more than seven seas, isn't there? And I pointed them out. There's the Caspian Sea, the Mediterranean Sea, the Atlantic Sea, Mel Sea from the Spice Girls. And it went to more than seven. Uh, and then they said, OK, you're right, Nick. You're too clever for us. And I, I just left. Mm. It did seem good fun, though, those boys on their boat going around to sea forever. Don't know what they got up to. Uh, but anyway, I, I never found out. Let's go down. Down, down, deeper and down. Oops. We seem to be stuck in a room. I can't go left or right here. Oh, look. There's a good witch there. She's got a face not too dissimilar to Popeye. Maybe it's his mum. Uh, but she goes past on a broomstick. Oh, look. Let me out of here. This looks fun down here. But I'm stuck in a darned room. I think we might need green keys to get out of here. I mean, where's a sailor man supposed to find a green key at such short notice? I mean, he has spinach to try and beat up Bluto. There he is again there. I don't know what his background story is, but he's obviously got a few mental problems. Why doesn't he get a girlfriend? Why is he always after olive oil? I mean, he's always trying to steal Popeye's girlfriend. He, he's no good to no one. I mean, I'm not impressed with him. That old Bluto face with his big beard and his over white stance. I know. What what can you say about that silly fool? He was a big galoot. He was a bit of a bully, really. And as soon as Popper had his spinach, he normally uh, beat him up during the end of the cartoon. That was good old fun. But you can't show you can't show violent cartoons now. The PC Brigade, Tom and Jerry, probably banned. They say it promotes kids to hit other kids over the head with a frying pan. Look, look, people. It is just a cartoon. I don't know what's up with the world nowadays. What's it coming to? It's too PC. It's too got to be friendly. Everyone's allergic to everything. And um, 
craziness, super craziness. Now, if you're enjoying this video, um, somehow, uh, there's lots of other videos to watch on the channel. Please subscribe, it's a bit of a, bit of a struggle to grow the numbers because I've always adapted a policy of not spamming people. Uh, I've always adapted a policy of uh, not saying, give me money in the video all the way through. You will see other channels where the first line in their description is, uh, please donate to my Patreon account. Well, uh, you know, um, any tips welcome through PayPal, but I don't promote that uh, because I don't feel very comfortable with it. And so the channel grows a lot slower than it should do. So it's all to do with word of mouth. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, be grateful if you did so. And um, there we go. Yeah, it's all about the fun, really. Um, not about getting people to do stuff and spamming people. That's just my philosophy anyway. And I'm probably worse off for it. Hooray! There we go. Come on, Pops. Uh, there's a bird flying past as slow as he possibly can. Um, maybe, why can't he fly a bit higher than that? I think we'll leave it there, you know. I think we'll leave it there. I don't think there's too much else I can show you. So, great graphics, uh, limited sound on there. Bluetooth's a pain. Clunky controls, which makes it awkward. And overall, not a very enjoyable experience for me. Uh, if you've got any comments about this game, then please comment below. That was Popeye on the ZX Spectrum, published by DKTronics in 1985. Thanks for watching, as always. It is always appreciated. Until next time, take wonderful care of yourself and um, a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.